the 3DS is by far my favourite handheld. Despite only playing a few games, it still outdoes the PSP, DS and GBA combined for me. Now, I would talk about my favourite 3DS game, but I don't think I can give it enough justice here. So instead I'm going to talk about just one of my favourites, Liberation Maiden. Oh boy, this game, I love it! Liberation Maiden is a shoot 'em up that definitely delivers on its value of fun. The game's plot is a little on the thin side, basically being a, uh... The whole world is gonna be conquered and you're the last nation you can save the world! ...type. But by no means is that the main focus on the game, as are a lot of Suda games. Did I mention this game was made by the beautiful Suda51? Regardless, you play as Shoko Ozora, a teenage girl who has been elected president and has been assigned with the task of defending Japan. However, you don't actually play as Shoko herself, instead piloting a giant ass mecha known as Kamui to go ahead and blow shit up. I mean, liberate other locations. Using lock-on shots, lasers, and everybody's favorite, a lightsaber to do so. Basically, just go blast shit up, you know? Like, whee! <laughs> the controls are fairly simple, using the control stick to move and the touch screen to aim and fire. However, like most games of the 3DS, this one, uh, let's just say it doesn't like lefties that much. How would I know? Well, I'm a lefty myself, and uh, you pretty much have to use a stylus in your right hand, unless you have the weird adult thing for the 3DS. But regardless, the levels in this game are pretty good too. And while the bosses aren't the best thing I've ever seen in a video game, they definitely give you a thrill when fighting them, especially the first, fourth, and fifth one. However, this game definitely doesn't come without its flaws, such as the previously mentioned fuck you lefties rule. And overall, the game has just felt really short. Sure, I go back to it every now and then, but the game is only five levels long, with only three difficulties. Easy, normal, and hard. Easy will be playing all the time. Normal if you want somewhat of a challenge, and hard if you feel like playing Toho in fucking 3D. Regardless, I still find a fantastic amount of fun, and I highly suggest you pick up this game off the eShop if you haven't already. 